All right guys, we're here today and we're gonna show you guys how to put in a standard sliding glass door in a, in a shower, okay? So as you can see, we got our shower, we have our tile walls. Typically a shower is 60 inches wide. So we got a, a Delta from Home Depot sliding shower door, 48 inch to 60 inch uh, wide shower frame, okay? We also picked up some shower doors, okay? I wanna show you guys what the kit includes, okay? Now you have your side pieces right here. You have two of these, they look kinda of like uh, something off of Star Trek. And then the deeper side comes out, okay? So what we do with these is we put them in, we level them up, okay? And then I typically take a pencil and shave it down to just the lead, and then I mark through these holes. I mark through there on where our drill is gonna go. So we don't wanna worry about any other parts except for our two side parts. We wanna mark out our holes, okay? Now typically people get uh, concrete bits to cut through tile. You wanna get a little Indian in the cupboard spear. They come in packs of four, and they look like little spears, okay? This is what you wanna get to cut through tile. You want to get yourself two or three kits because these things burn out very easy. But let me show you how to do it. Come on over here. So when you get through here, um, we started with a small hole. We're gonna move up our bits, but just know that you can see how hot these things get and how quickly they burn out. Another thing you wanna do is make sure your hand is on it so that when it cuts through the tile, you're not smashing your brand new tile job in. So make sure that you got some sort of back pressure on this thing to make sure it doesn't go through your tile. Okay, last thing, the kit also comes with all of these little plastic things here, some screws, some plastic. You can see you also need to pick up a door handle and those door rollers. So this is just literally, you put this in uh, probably right here in the middle hole. And that just keeps the glass from slamming into the metal. Okay, and that's what most of them are. So here's our top rack, okay. This is gonna go up top and it's gonna set right on top of these. It's gonna clip right in here. So there's, there's no work that needs to be done. And it'll literally, it'll literally clip right in like this. Okay, so it clips in like that and that's how it's gonna look. And that's gonna hold the weight of the shower doors, okay? And then your bottom rail goes right in between here. So your bottom rail, of course, you want this uh, the high side out, so it looks kind of like this. This is gonna go right inside of these, right here. This will be on here like this, and this will go right inside of there, okay? And then there's a, a, small, a small plastic piece come over here. This piece right here, it looks kind of odd, okay? Here's your bottom plate. This piece usually goes right in the middle and screws into this, and that just keeps your glass, uh, it's a, just a track for your glass. So you can see how simple it is when it's broken down. It can be a little uh, complicated when you look at all those pieces, but we're gonna show you the end product here pretty soon, and please subscribe. Okay guys, we found the rollers. You could see how easy it would be to throw something like this away until you flip it around and you find your rollers in there. I wanna show you the drill bit real quick. So this is a 3 16 inch hole. We are able to do all of the holes with two bits, an eighth inch bit to start and then a 3 16 You can see our screws go through, okay? So now we're ready to put our rails up. We're gonna clean out our armpits down here and put, put our sides up. And then we're gonna cut our bottom and our top and put those in. And then we're going to get our shower doors on. We'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so I measured our top rail. 57 and a half inches. 
okay? And now I'm gonna show you how we cut it, okay? The same way that we open a can of tuna on the job site, the same way that we cut this big old metal pipe here. Okay guys, we're a little snug. Maybe a little too snug. pull-ups on here. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, we learned this the hard way, but one thing that you want to do before you put your bottom track in, so this goes down like this, you get this little rubber piece that seems unimportant and you thread it through this little this little track right here so the glass doesn't drag along the the metal so we had to pull this off but it's well worth pulling it off to put this back on so i say don't get too excited when you're putting these things together because sometimes you got to pull them apart and remember to put the simplest piece in before you move on okay guys so we left the bottom screws out until we got our bottom rail on because it's going to go right right past that. So now we can go ahead and put our bottoms on. No pun intended. Show you guys. The screws that it came with weren't long enough. So we had to make our screw holes bigger and put in a Torx head. Torx head screw like that right there for that. All right, guys, so here is our here is our rails. You take this screw off really gently because there's a washer on it, okay? And then you pull this uh, rubber grommet off very gently because there is a, a little, like, little washer in there too. So we put this on here. And then we want to make sure that we put this washer in. Oh, man. You guys, don't try this at home, clearly. Okay, put this washer in here. Okay, and then, this is very important guys, so on your glass, come over here. Come over here. Position this side in. So we want our frosted part on the outside, and we wanna make sure that the non-frosted part is on the inside. Always make sure that you get this positioned in. Now one of your wheels will be facing out, and the other wheels will be facing in because your bar, the wheels sit on both sides of the bar. So we've got, this is our first piece that's gonna go in. It's gonna go in first. And then we got this one that's going in second. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that our wheels are facing the right direction. We put these screws in here. And we tighten them down with our, with our drill. Man, I'm just glad that we keep the work area clean around here. We never trip over anything. Here, look at how beautiful, clear all this all the way into the bathroom. All right, so guys, let's see if we can get this door on real quick. So be careful when you're doing this. You gotta bring it in. Okay, should we put it on, Tommy? 
No, we put the other door in first. And then we put this door in and put it on. Right guys? So, even though that's the first door that goes on. Goodness. We put this one in first. Then we grab this one. All right. We let it kind of slide around in there. Okay, good. Happy with that. Now, we pull this little piece of sticker off here. This one on. Drum roll, please. Okay, and there is our second door on. Okay, and now one of the important parts is getting our slider that we talked about earlier and our screws right here. And this should go in there like that. Okay. So we got a couple more pieces to put on guys, but that is how you install a glass shower door from Home Depot. Okay guys, one of the hard parts for us to figure out was these little plastic tees, but I think we figured out where they go. Come on in up in here so they clip up in there they come up here and they clip in there and then you put a screw in there and that holds the top piece onto the bottom piece so that you can get your doors on there without without this flopping around 